Okay, for Savannah, <laughs> we're going to start the sleeve. You're gonna go from A to B, and it needs to be the length of your sleeve length plus one inch, which is total length from shoulder all the way to wrist. So I did mine where we did the shoulder to elbow and then elbow to wrist, but even my arm length came up as a different, like an inch difference. Right, because of the elbow joint in the middle. Okay, so I want to use the, the shirt. Sleeve you want length. to use the arm, the arm length. length. So I want to use 27. Okay. Yeah. But Chad, not the shirt sleeve length that starts from the center of your back and comes across your shoulder, not that one. Right. Okay? Just the middle of this paper going down. Yes, just right down the middle. Down at B, we're just gonna square this out. And the book doesn't give you a set distance just because that's your wrist line. So if you make it your wrist circumference, your sleeve will look really disproportionate. So just do it like, I don't know, six inches either side, even though I know nobody's wrist is 12 inches in circumference in this class. But that just gives you a nice box to be working with. That works out. Okay, refresh that B is. B is down at the wrist line. Just draw a square line down here at the bottom. Have it be like six inches either side, just so we get nice working distance oh, okay. down here at the bottom. Okay, we are going to decide how tall our cap is. And the book actually has some formulas for this. So on page 27, table 2.3, there's a cap height formula, and you need to be thinking about what style you're gonna be making to determine what your cap height is gonna be. So there is a t-shirt, a regular shirt, a casual jacket, or a suit jacket, and a coat. Those are your options. I would probably go with just a shirt one, which is your arms, uh, hang on, what's that? Wait, 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 they're putting a weird acronym on here. I gotta make sure I'm giving you the correct acronym. You could just quit this right now and say that. I could. <laughs> <laughs> it is your arms I circumference divided by three minus an inch, an inch and a half for ease. So if your arms I circumference is 18, you divide that by three, which would give you six. And then for to gather in your cap for ease, as you're easing that cap into the arm's eye, you're gonna want it like an inch smaller than that. So it would be five. And we would be coming down from a, does that make sense? So you're subtracting. Yes, I am subtracting the one inch. And that becomes C. And then once again, we're just gonna square this line out Oh my gosh, that's so not square. Is it one inch or half inch? No, it's between one to one and a half oh. inches. Trying to ease in a one inch difference is crazy. You're gonna get gathers and puckers and it's not gonna look clean. One inch is better. And then we're also taking our measured arm size versus our, sorry, our pattern. Arm yes, size. your pattern's arm's eye not your personal arm's eye circumference if they are not the same number. Because we need this sleeve to fit in that hole. Okay, I'm, I got confused. Okay. Point C is? Your arm's eye circumference of your pattern, so. Divided by three. Mm -hmm. So I've got six and one third. So now minus an inch. So you get five. five and one third. Okay, that's what I mean. Give me a second. And then this is supposed to be a straight line. It's not straight. I'm asking Natasha, I'm having some Diet Coke spadal issues today. <laughs> like I've been drinking tequila shots, but it's just, you know, this much of my 32 ounce Diet Coke in my office. This is supposed to be square, straight a line across. 
And once again, not a distance yet because we're building triangular points. We don't know how long we're going to need it. Okay, that seam you're going to need one more time is your, your arm by circumference divided by three. Off the pattern. Off the pattern. Divided by three. And then minus an inch. Minus. Okay. Would you mind writing it on the side of the board like you did last time? Sorry, it just made it very clear. A to C is arm side circumference off the pattern divided by three minus one inch. Does that help? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, we good? You okay back there, Jen? Yeah. Okay. So now when think back to your torso slopers, this was the front and this was the back. Now on the sleeve, this is the front and this is the back. Why is it flipped? right because when you construct it mm -hmm. to put right sides to right sides this side has to go in this hole and this side has to go in that hole so now flip your brain this is now front this is now back so down here from a to intersect this line we are going to take the front arm's eye measurement so that was something junior that was O junior to M junior. That measurement needs to come down from A and intersect this line. And it becomes E. So A to E equals O junior to M junior on torso sloper minus a quarter of an inch. And A to F going the opposite direction equals D junior to M junior on torso minus the same quarter of an inch. So that means you'll start at A. This line here needs to equal that distance. And same over here. Does that make sense? <laughs> okay. So when you had your torso slopers, mm -hmm. you measured on the front of your torso sloper from O junior around the curve to M junior. I need that distance. You're going to subtract a quarter of an inch, and that length is going to go from A to E, wherever it is, so it intersects this line. So if that means your triangle is more slopey or super sh sharp, that is all determined by how long this leg of the triangle is. So I'm not telling you the distance here. I'm telling you the distance here. We already know this length. We're finding this length right now, then we can reverse Pythagorean theorem, whatever, to find this if you really want to know. <laughs>